So um, this review comes to you by the uh, virtue of the chosen prime who has supplied me with these really great, well, not this guy, because his legs are loose, um, and not this guy, but this guy uh, came from the Chosen Prime. Um, shout out to Brandon Wake, which sounds remarkably like white, but <laughs> shout out to the Brandon, uh, check out the Chosen Prime, TCP, um, check out the... Um, uh, the Primes Council, which is a uh, collector group on Facebook as well. And you can go to thechosenprime.com for this and more of your plastic crack urges. I've got urges for plastic crack. Like that pipe up, we smoke it. Smoking on the plastic crack. <laughs> You can't put her finger in the trigger. Well, do right. That's bullshit. And welcome back, fellow collectors, the Braves Toy Review. Uh, first, I want to say Happy New Year, because it's the New Year's 2016. Awesome. So we got some 2016 red on this MP21R Bumblebee, which is the red body, which is the um, Diaclone uh, repainted car. Tommy's doing this whole Diaclone thing. And, and I must say that I'm, I am not interested in doing what I said I wasn't going to do, which is getting all of these repaints. I hate repaints, but I'm doing the repaint thing. Uh, so, yeah. The packaging is quite the same as the original pa original packaging for the MP Bumblebee, uh, except instead of a yellow Bumblebee, you have a red Bumblebee. And on that red Bumblebee, he has a smiley face. And many people thought this was going to be their cliff jumper. However, it is not. Now, down here, you can see the accessories that he comes with. And you'll notice there is... Um, missing or not included in this a spiky daniel a spiky dan and that is because it's not included in this yes cybertronian espionage so let's get about the packaging and take a look at him and you can see all the official um uh, the writing typing stickering imprinting look at that imprint i wonder okay so you get a ko if you got a ko box because i don't have one handy um let me know if it has the imprint there, like this. That, I mean, that's just really imprinted into the packaging. All right, so let's get them out of packaging. So out of the packaging, we have his uh, collector card, his tech spec card. Um, Takara cards have never really been the most uh, sturdy uh, cardboard or card stock, but hey, it is what it is. He's got these little rear view mirror deals here. I do believe those are rear view mirrors there. Um, on the back, it says a bunch of shit I can't read. Hua! And then here we have his um, directions for the MP21R Cybertronian S Cybertron Espionage Bumblebee Red. So yeah, cool. Did you like that with the red? And then we have him inside of his clam shit, his uh, tray. I'm sorry. Uh, you got his gun here, which is similar to the gun that comes with Bumblebee. It's quite the same. You have his uh, face replacement there with the red instead of the yellow. You got that uh, little um, Volkswagen uh, uh, backup tire, a spare tire cover deal and then you've got bumblebee let's just get it all out let's take it all out of there just get it out of there Arr, okay uh, i'm not really going to go too in depth with this uh pistol here it's quite the same as the original bumblebee unless you haven't seen my original bumblebee review because it was on the older channel maybe i'll put that up on the uh on this channel so yeah, there you go. That's cool. That's that's decent. Then you have the face, which is uh, the same face with a little smirky dirky, a little smirky dirky on there. Good job. It's a smirky dirky. The hell is a smirky dirky? And then you got this deal here. 
Mm. I, I will say that I like the red. Um, maybe somebody's going to make a... And this is all completely speculation, but maybe someone will make a... Um, a uh, upgrade kit there. Which is basically a cliff jumper head for this guy. Yeah. So, um, cool. Just like before with the yellow bone bee, you can take this little uh, tag thing off here from the back and you can place this guy in there. I mean, you can place, I'm sorry. This guy in here or like such and I've always had a problem sliding the thing because of the angle now this piece here can go on the inside of this so you don't lose it just let me point that out for anyone who didn't know I don't know why you wouldn't know but in case you didn't know never say that Bray was one to leave you uninformed because I'm not with leaving people uninformed I like to inform the peoples so just like that you stick it right inside of there these little tiny pieces are hard to manage and then you just stick it in the hole Boy meets girl, even on the square pig. All right, so that's him in his uh, bumblebee form. If you've never had, if you don't own a MP bumblebee, uh, let's just point out a few things. The wheels are not rubber. Uh, pretty nice chrome here on the front, just as the same with the original bumblebee. You get the Autobot symbol here. You get to flip this around. We'll get into that transformation in the Autobot symbol, I believe, is on the inside of there. Uh, windows are tinted. And let me see how we're some of this. So, yeah, the original bumblebee has the same tin. I'm looking at it right now. And it has the same tin. And I'll break that out when the robot form comes around. Handles there in a nice silver. Hubcap detailing is on point. Now, I think this is one of the last few Bumble uh, Bumblebees, one of the last few Takara uh, Tomy masterpieces that were really just on point. I know there were a lot of people complaining about the scale with the original Bumblebee, the size of it, but in all actuality, it kind of works, right? So um, just for a vehicle size comparison, because I'm not getting all this other shit out, here he is next to um, Sun Surge, which is the uh, Bad Cube uh, version. Now, how how legitimate that scale is like how how realistic that is i don't know i don't i know uh, i don't i don't think a lamborghini would be that much smaller or that much lower than a bug but who, who knows i mean this is not i don't know why i'd buy with the scale shit come on <laughs> you're some guy sitting inside your fucking house is this the same size or the right size come on man okay so yeah that's that pretty decent we've seen it all before chrome on the back got some translucent lights right there it looks really good i mean the detail of these vehicles is really straight shall we go any further with this no let's get him into robot mode so we can do some comparisons and he's a little stiff because he's brand new but you separate this back piece here you have some tabs let me get some pointing equipment you have some tabs inside of here that uh tab into the inside of that door panel there just loosen that up as best you can and then fold down you have um the lower port portion of the torso is on the hinge at this pin right here and then of course you have the um the joints on the knees there that, that actually lend to um helping you uh lower this guy out uh before you bring this forward go ahead and take this and rotate it inward as such and do that now here's a question uh because i remember with the yellow one uh the original version that some people have problems with paint um chipping off when performing this portion of the transformation now we just did it here and it doesn't seem as if we got any chippage let's inspect that no chippage no that's just light reflecting off here it looks like chippage but it's not chippage so that's good we'll see how long that lasts it may not last forever but hopefully it will be durable so yeah there we go rotate that up now i've always liked the transformation of mb was really fun i've always thought it was really fun so that's one of the cool things got double articulated points here so just fold it back and then fold it forward cool and then you can uh unpeg those little portions there and bring them forward like that all right take these feet and let I me mean, sorry take the, the, the base of the vehicle rotate those wheels up under it separate those feet take this portion here fold it forward fold it in 
and then tab it in there. That's pretty sweet. See that? Tab it in there. That's pretty sweet. All right. And then we'll just uh, rinse, wash, repeat. There we go. Bow. And there we have the lower portion of the beaster coming through. At this point, you can also take this butt from the back. I usually do it because it's easier just to get it started. And then you can flip that just like a dad, just like a dad. Now on the back portions here, the uh, forearms are tabbed into this rear cab of the vehicle untab it there like that and like that and just kind of rotate these down they're on a uh, pin there and there so just rotate those down and separate those forearms from there via that tab there just like that bring that down and just seat that in place like that that forms bumblebee's side although Hmm. It's like it's not really sitting flush. I don't think I'm forgetting anything either. I just gotta push it up a little bit more. Maybe that helps. Yeah, had to push it up. Had to uh, push it up a little bit more. It wasn't all the way in. All right, so cool. Take this portion here, separating it. Before you do that, though, take this portion and just uh, why that? That always happens. That's just not me. It didn't just break that. That always happens. Okay, we took it off camera just to fix to put that uh, back into place. It's really irritating because it's going to keep on popping off, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so um, you've got a uh, you got a hinge here, you got a uh, swivel there, and then you got a hinge on the inside of here. So just lift this up as high as you can, and just try to angle this so it's not in the way of the head. Um, take this piece here. Now uh, this is this is uh, pretty tight, but I think it should be all right. If this thing doesn't pop off again, and I kind of like to do this before swiveling it because if you if you do this portion after you swivel it around it's kind of hard to get the clearance uh, with the head there in the way so you just tuck it up under there it should should tuck in right behind that uh base point that uh that base where that uh swivel is right so once you've done that you can take it and you can this thing is not cooperating we can go ahead and swivel it around like that and they just kind of put it in place like this and that's the old bumblebee backpack as we know it yeah fix the arms swivel that uh rotate that arm around by virtue of this uh, swiveling pin right here um flip that forearm out i mean that, that uh, hand out of the forearm excuse me same thing on the other side and then the hands just lock into place. Okay, so um, here we go with that forearm piece that everyone hates. It's the same deal as before. Kind of just rotate it under there like that. And same thing here. And there you have it. So um, complaints that still remain. Uh, you got the hollowness here. It would have been cool to see that get repaired. Uh, get that um rectified with this release but we didn't i do see a little bit of flakage here on um the base of my stand there from the red i'm not sure if that's from the rotation this this portion here oh i'm sorry you can't see that can you i'm thinking it's from this portion because it was pretty tight uh flipping this portion back in and there's you can see there's paint um inside of their access paint access paint right there so maybe that's what it is or maybe it's from um here maybe because it's only two places i see that place that i see that could have been rubbing or it could be from here who knows but it's there it's a little bit of flakage so a bit of information you can do with that what you will uh same articulation points he's pretty stiff because he's brand new that's really cool heads on a pin and a hinge that's cool um i'm really digging the white autobot emblem um contrasting with the red of the body i really like that you can lift your shoulders up like this i, I kind of like them i kind of dig them um yeah i'm pretty sure we're going to get that uh well, I would like to get that um, cliff jumper head so you can pretend like he's cliff jumper, even though cliff jumper is not a bumblebee uh, vehicle or a uh, Volkswagen bee. So here he is next to the original bee. Check that out. Oh, brothers, we're happy and we're, <laughs> we're, happy and we're singing and we're colored. This is the high life. Remember the Wayans show? And they, they would come on, it was like that. And they'd be like, we're happy and we're singing and we're colored. And we're happy and we're 
we're singing and we're colored. Give me a high five. All right, cut and print. Beautiful guy. Dynamite. Then also, so they, they they flip it and they go into the hip hop um, or, or the more urban uh, intro of the show. That was really cool. I was just pointing that out. Yeah. So it's those little subtle messages that the Wayans were always good for uh, delivering. Whether you think the Wayans were good actors, as far as their family line goes, there's definitely some uh, a, a long history of Hollywood talent there. And I don't know why I'm even going on that. I digress. So. Um, <clears throat> I mean, it's basically the same figure. Uh, no chrome on this guy, but it does pop off just the same chrome on that bumper. So I do like that's a nice addition. So uh, let's let's say this. Let me make a correction. I'm sorry. Um, where he is chromed, he is not. I, I I didn't even consider that. I didn't even think about that. No chrome on that bumper. Chrome on that bumper. Um, the red here really brings out those clear headlights. Um, those those headlights look pretty good, but not as much as these. The chrome just really shines against this red. It re it's really a nice contrast there. Um, take it to the back of this guy. This guy. This guy. But other than that, it's basically the same figure. So, yeah, there you go. That's Bumblebee and Bumblebee. Bumblebee and Bumblebee are. And just to bring in another guy who's really talented, here he is next to um, Ollie. So now we have Ollie in the middle. What's going on, Ollie? Ain't nothing. It's just me. I chill, Bumblebee. <laughs> Shut up with all that. <laughs> All right, so this has been me. This is the first review, maybe the second review. I don't know, but it's 2016. Happy New Year! I am a nut. <laughs> I'm out of here.